settled in 1839 by Donald Cameron, a Scotsman. So it's actually pronounced Clunes. Clunes, something like that. It was Donald Cameron in his sheep and starting a pastoral run in the area. Gold was discovered in the area, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. We're going to take a walk around the town and show you some of the heritage buildings and see what else we can find. And I'll let you in a little secret about the gold. But this town was Victoria's first gold mining town. They found gold here before they found it anywhere else. So can we find some old relics here as well? I'm taking one with me. See you in town. I can't find any old relics around here. Maybe this one here. I am standing in front of the School of Mines built around 1891 to 1892 but before that in 1850 gold was discovered in and around Clunes and it led to uh, a lot of money being found. At that stage Victoria was still part of the greater colony of New South Wales and the locals felt particularly neglected as, um, as uh, Sydney really didn't care about us very much. And so we petitioned the Queen of the day and that was Victoria and Victoria was uh, separated and named after the Queen of the day. Gold was officially discovered in 1851 after the separation but I think we all know we kept a little bit of a secret because we wanted to keep our stash away from those New South Wales people. Otherwise all the money would have gone to Sydney and Melbourne would never have been marvellous. Exactly right. So now we have marvellous Melbourne. Let's go and check out the other building, shall we? They're looking a bit shabby from this direction. At the Clunes South School, which was built in 1881. 
It ceased in 1922. Because all the kids graduated, Joe, they became so smart and they didn't have to go to school anymore. <laughs> you wish, Peter. <laughs> the actual school amalgamated with another school in the north north section of Clunes. And now the kids at Clunes don't go to school anymore. No. <laughs> but once it once it ceased in 1922, it became knitting mills. And then in about in the 1980s, after that had ceased, it actually became a bottle museum with some rare bottles from the southern hemisphere which basically says it's fallen into disrepair what the bottles or the building <laughs> well the whole idea <laughs> no 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 it'd be very fascinating mm. but it's closed today so if you're ever in the area and it's open it's worth a browse Hey, what are you having, Peter? It's ice cream time. Yeah, no, but what are you having? Mm. Well, the, the green is obviously lime. And lemon. And lemon, and the, and the green down the bottom is apple. A nice way to finish out. And Jojo's having passion fruit, and I'm also having the um, apple at the bottom. Mm. The green apple. Delicious. It's nice and refreshing. Actually, it was 1851 that James Esmond actually discovered gold in Clunes. It is stated that it was actually 1850 that there was gold found here, being the first gold town in Victoria. But after the separation, this is when they officially declared it. Anyway. That is the end of our tour for the day. I hope you enjoyed all the historical buildings that we have seen along the way. It's been till our next adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye, Peter. <laughs> Bye, Jojo.